Well, it's a beautiful morning out here at Pactola Reservoir. We're fishing Veterans Point right now. Uh, fishing for lake trout out in 80 feet of water, 80 to 90 or so. Oh, there's one. Just got out here to Pactola. First fish on. Haven't even had my bait down for more than for more than two, three minutes. This is the first fish that I marked. All right, lake trout. There we go. Oh, beautiful fish. Nice lake trout right there. Good looking fish. About 20 inches or so. See you bud. Cool. There's one. Fishing 87 feet of water here. It's about 8 a.m. No wind. Beautiful morning so far. We're fishing uh, Veterans Point out here at Pactola in South Dakota. It's a Saturday and uh, I anticipated there being quite a few people out here. Here comes one. I anticipated quite a few people being out here. Uh, so I came to this spot because uh, it's a little less trafficked. Uh, there's other spots that are definitely a lot more popular. So I've done here, I've done well here in the past. Uh, hopefully we can get on a couple more lakers. Got one chasing it. He hit it twice, which is not very hard. Here he comes again. And drop him back down. Oh, Mr. There's one. There's a lake trout. Oh man. All right. All right, yeah, another Laker.
barometric pressure is above 30. I think it's more like 30 and a half. And number two Laker out in 80, 80 feet of water. There it is. Nice lake trout. All right, bud. See ya. Sweet. I'm jigging about 70 feet or so, so approximately 10 to 15 feet up off the bottom. And then when I see them on my flasher start to mark, I'll like I'll bring it up slowly and uh, kind of play keep away from them until they finally grab it. It's kind of like a reaction bite. Um, and if if I get them to where they lose interest, then I'll drop it back down and try to get them back uh, engaged with my bait. Sometimes you may have to do that three times before they'll finally hit it. Oh, there's one marking already. There he comes. There's another one. I just dropped that down. All right, this is great. Another Laker. Oh, just got off at the hole. About the same size as the other others. Cool. Man, right when I got down there, there was a mark on it, and I reeled up above him about five feet, and he came chasing, so I kept bringing it up nice and slow, and he grabbed a hold of it. Feels like when the barometric pressure is lower than 30, down into the 29 area, uh, you do better in the with bigger fish in the shallower water. Uh, and then when the barometric pressure is high, I like to fish deeper. Feels like the bite's pretty good this morning. We'll see if there's any size that comes. Sometimes they'll hit it on the fall. And if you watch your line, uh, it, <clears throat> if your lure stops falling, then uh, before you know it should, then a lot of times it's uh, a fish that bit it on the way down. There my line stopped. Fish on. Got one. Feels like another laker. Oh yeah, nice laker, all right, hook came right out, oh. <laughs> nice fish, see you bud, nice laker, all right, man, they're aggressive today like that I brought that one all the way up to like 48 feet or so maybe even further than that
I got one, got one chasing it. Don't let it fall. Here he comes. There he is. There he is. There's another one down there. There's another one with him. Another lake trout. See you, bud. I see him below the ice here. All right. All right. There's a nice laker. Oop, easy, bud. Still, still not very big, but uh, nicest one today. Nice fish. Look at that. Unbelievable. So much fun. All right. I moved into 60 feet of water because I was marking some. I really like to uh, I like to fish as shallow as possible uh, and still catch fish. I find a lot of my bigger fish come in uh, sh shallow water. Don't get me wrong, I've caught big fish out in deeper water as well, but uh, just seems like the majority of my big fish come in 60 feet and below. Did it and 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 did it and